It was Briggs, but you know, he wasn't an amazing ruck. Still good. And then Carlton. Who did Carlton have? Pitnet was injured the whole season, so they barely had a recognized ruck. So that's what I'm saying. It's not an important position. And we've seen like the movement with rucks, the amount of rucks who have moved to three to four different clubs, you know, Tom Hickey, you know, Hudson, a lot of rucks, Brody Grundy now. They move from club to club. Phillips as well is just retired from Essendon. He played at many different clubs. It's so common for rucks just to move around and about. You know, Braden Pruce is a little example as well. So I think for free Fremantle's sake, it's a massive risk as well. Now, if Fremantle find themselves needing to pay massive wages to Sarong and Brayshaw to keep them at the club, uh, they've got a couple other good young talents there. They're going to struggle with that salary cap, and if they're going to let anyone go, it's Sean Darcy. Because like I said, Ruck's just a disposable. Uh, Luke Jackson, I think, might be someone they want to keep more than Darcy. It's another complex thing because, you know, they have now two of the arguably the best 10 Rucks in the comp, Jackson and Darcy. Obviously, you know, if you're forced to sign it because it's going to be a free a free agent you're gonna get nothing from him. you're gonna get niche then i understand that but seven years probably at a really high cost i'm just not sold on the deal and i honestly think it's really dangerous for Fremantle and for sean darcy because darcy who knows if he's gonna get any trophy now any silverware and for Fremantle, if you're putting all your money in this you can't sign the, the other players that are more important in more important positions to winning something so that's why i have a problem with it if you mirror the the deal with Brody grundy we've seen how bad it's gone you know collingwood did revive themselves they recovered but it's lucky and i'm surprised it happened you know so well for them but if history has taught us 